Welcome to Window Shop with Car and Driver. This is the weekly uh, show where we discuss cars. We find cars online based on a challenge. This week's challenge, because Honda has just unveiled the 11th generation Civic prototype um, concept, which is looks production ready. Uh, what did you guys think of it? Pretty. I like it a lot. Yeah, it looks kind of, it looks like kind of like a smaller Accord. I can't wait to see it in person. It's much cleaner than the current Civic. Yeah, I like the, the production like the ones coming out in 2022, right? Yep. Coming out as a 2022 in 2021. Yeah, next, in spring of 2021, it'll go on too. So Ooh, this is the old 90, 91 Ford Explorer. <laughs> exactly, Casey. Uh, so we decided to find our favorite Civics of all time. And uh, we're joined by John Perley Huffman, our contributor in Santa Barbara, uh, Joey Caparella. Casey Colwell and Mr. Jonathan Ramsey. We've all picked our favorite Civic. So maybe we've picked the same ones. We haven't really checked. Um, so Pearly, you want to kick it off? Yeah. Anyhow, I wanted to start off by saying that I have, in fact, owned four Civics. Was and this before your Tundra phase? No, I, I, <laughs> I, I, I literally, I literally go through, I, I literally go through different phases. This is, I, I owned a Civic SI 1990. That's I owned beautiful. an 87 CRX SI. Oh, I didn't know you had a CRX. Yep. Had a, had a 2000, had a 1996 uh, Civic EX. Had, this is my favorite car. This is my 2008 Civic SI, which yeah. is a car I deeply, deeply loved. And I remember when you sold that, how heartbroken you were. Oh, yeah. there's the Tundra and the Civic phase. That's, that's right. I, well, literally, literally, when it comes to buying vehicles, I, when I bought my Tundra, my cross shop was the Civic SI. Oh man! If <laughs> if if you had parked this rig illegally in your um oh, in your we're... housing place, in fact, still in, in prison. Fact, in fact, my neighbor, when I put the car on the trailer to take it, this is why I was taking it down to be to LA for the person who bought it. The, my neighbor across the street complained. Yeah, I was going to say <laughs> if you had taken this picture in your neighborhood, yeah. it would have been the most pearly thing ever. Yeah. Well, I just I just I just sent a picture of that guy violating the rules to the to my HOA. So what the hell. My car lives on as my screensaver in my in my phone. And I think it's uh, technically it's a background, isn't it? Whatever. And then uh, <laughs> and then here here's here, here is my sister with our latest Civic purchase. This is her third. Nice. And this is a uh, she bought this last week. Uh, it's her new uh, it's her new Civic EX. Oh, she couldn't wait for the new one. You didn't tell her to wait for the new one. She this is a 2019 that was sitting in the inventory because the lease fell through and that she oh. got it so cheap it was ridiculous. Cool. Oh, that's a good deal. Yeah. That's a good deal. Yeah. All right. So what's your favorite Civic, Curly? It's easy. It's the eighth generation Civic SI. <laughs> it's uh, the first series that had the K-series engine. Had, 100, had an 8,000 RPM red line. It was an absolute joy to drive. Every time I got in that car, I loved driving it. It's not the fastest car, about seven seconds, zero to 60. It's not the, uh, it's, it's not the sexiest car because mine was a sedan. And I just locked out the one that was I had picked out because I accidentally... It was a, it's just a great car. The, the, it had some stupidity to it. The, the two-tiered dashboard was idiotic. Um, but at the same point in time, once you started driving it, it still drives great. The shifter was amazing. It had a Shift, great, great shifter. Shifted great. Had, had neat little touches. Like there was a, an amber light in the ceiling that shined down onto the shifter so you could find Can it. Can you go night. to a picture of the shifter? I don't think I have a shift, picture of the shifter. Well, but there, the it is. Interior 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 interior. there it is. There it is. I mean, that shifter is just, it was sublime. No, I actually it was like, don't it's like mind the, the two-tier dash, out of the and I feel like it kind of caught on. Like, the two-tier dash seemed crazy at first, but then, like, looking back, it wasn't, you know, it, a lot of cars started using that. Also, I want to say is how good the seats were in this car. This car, for an economy car, the seats were spectacular. And, uh, it, you know, it's a car that even now, like, this one has got, a, this one's $11,000 for a 12, for a nine-year-old car. And, uh, you know, when 2012, they switched to the 2.4 liter engine, they knocked, I think, a grand off the uh, red line. Right. It was just it basically got the Accords engine then and it lost yeah. all the it joy cool, of it. Right? It was never as much fun. Well, it just lost the, the whole experience of it. Like, yeah. You, you know. yeah. This, 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 is, this is a car that, you know, and the good thing is, is that, you know, I remember we had a comparison test in Car and Driver. They compared this to the GTI and the GTI one. But if you look today, you can get GTIs a lot cheaper than you can get SIs. Yeah, that's well, that's not me. what a comparison test is about. The, well, I'm talking about we have the 100% <laughs> look back comparison test. This is called the comparison test of time, Antonio. Uh, and uh, 
And uh, you know, no, I, I I think it's telling that the GTIs have lost more value and the Civics have preserved. I mean, that we're taking Pearlie's word for it. I'm not. No, it's true. I've been looking for GTIs for my brother, and oh there's the same vintage. They're like eight eight grand or less. Yeah, they're, they're both. Yeah. I mean, look at look at the, here's so one. Are these the, these are the same price. But these are like two hundred sixty seven thousand miles, and they still want eight grand for them. So Pearlie, yeah. when would the VTEC kick in, yo? At around <laughs> six grand. Tuesday. We're kicking on Tuesday. It kick in at like 6,600 or so, 6,000. Yeah, it kicked in, it kicked in at like 665, and yeah. you hit it there, and then it just, you know, you could take it into the back roads here in Santa Barbara County, and it was as much fun as cars that cost a lot more money. I spent so why did you sell it? If you loved it so much, why did you sell it? called the recession. Uh, Remember, I'm a freelancer. I only get paid by how much work I have, and I still owe, I owe money on that, and I didn't owe money on the Tundra, so... I sold it and I, I miss it every day. So Sophie's I, choice. Yeah. Well, it's... with all this window shopping money, you should be able to buy another one, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Casey. <laughs> uh, no, this hey, is. If like... we do enough episodes, Pearly, you can cover a payment. You can cover a monthly payment. <laughs> I was yeah. going to say, put that put that radio voice to work, and you'll make that money back in a week. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Civic SIs with Pearly. There right, we go. Pearly. That's your favorite. I like it. But, but I've owned I've owned uh, three SIs. I've owned a Civic, a CRX SI, a Civic SI, and two Civic SIs. And uh, the, the, the I have to say is my second favorite is the EF, the, the 1990s Civic SI we had. That car went to my friend Brian Kai, who bought it in 1992 from us. He still has it 28 years later with wow. over 200,000 miles on it. Just a great car. And he says he has kids coming up to him all the time asking to buy it from him. I bet. I bet. That would happen to our receptionist who had an 88 uh, Civic that would just mm -hmm. sit in the parking lot. And every once in a while, somebody would walk in and be like, hey, you want to sell that? Yeah. What's amazing is, is that I look at how they changed from 1990 to my 2008 was that 1990 car had, had manual steering, manual windows. All it had was a great set of seats, a fun engine, and a great chassis. Right. And that car is my number two. With anybody, if anybody else picks it, I'm going to vote okay. for it for number well, two. Uh, okay, thanks, Pearly. If you want to unshare, we'll kick it over to Jonathan Ramsey. No, no, let me go because my let me go. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in here. Oh, do you have a 1990 Civic? I don't have a 1990 Civic, but um, I no, uh, I went down a very same same path as as uh, oh, it's Pearly. as Pearly, and and it's the eighth eighth gen SI, and I went with the uh, with the Mugen. Uh, mm -hmm version which was just a, a limited edition uh i think they only they made a thousand of them um this one is currently for sale but uh the uh owner previous or current did this to the engine that Ew. i don't like um it's a turbo or is it just yeah it's, it's it's turbocharged but uh but here is a that's what they're supposed to look like right there yeah this is this is what they're supposed to look like um but Mugen is like sort of factory tuner within Honda, right? Is yeah. So Mugen Mugen was started by um, the founder of Honda's son and and another guy, and and yeah, they are uh, just a, a basically a Japanese tuner. Although they're they're pretty well tied in with Honda. <laughs> yeah, because uh, this was a factory special. Yeah, yeah. This was this was this was yeah. This was a factory car. Um, I drove it at Lightning Lap. I drove it at VIR at Lightning Lap. Yeah, it, it didn't have it didn't have any more power than the regular Civic, but it had a no. better chassis. No, it was, but it, yeah, I, I just it was just cool. I, I mean, it was just just a limited edition thing that was cool. And and like uh, like Pearly, um, I really love these these eighth gen SIs. Even though here's here's a good shot of that two tier. Um, oh yeah, the instrument I cluster. I mean, I, I love that. There's there's you got a giant tack right dead center in the middle, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, up above it, obviously, is all, all the digital stuff. But this is also from an era when like WRXs and Evos and I mean, even GTIs were all coming in with turbocharged engines that made a ton of ton of low end torque. And um, these just kind of did their own thing. Um, really they kind of they kinda stuck with their, to it. what's that? Early's phone just dinged. Sorry. Those metal shift knobs are a little dicey. They can get hot in the sun. Yeah. So what? You burn your hand. You build, develop a callus. <laughs> um, but I think all of I think every uh, oh, we don't need to go through all that. You get I think every um, you get every every move. Five speed pattern like the Indiana Jones. Uh, <laughs> you got a yeah. brand on your hand. <laughs> yeah. These you are know, six speeds. 
I just remember the, the I just remember all these Mugans. There used to be photos all over the internet of uh, them up on blocks where people had kind of stolen the wheels while they were still at the dealership lots. But they were um, stolen. And that is not the the OE tire was a. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, it's a BF Goodrich, you know, G Force TA KDW, um, which in this day was was a pretty good tire. And like yeah, and like Pearlie said, they weren't you know they're not super quick. Um, six eight. Six eight. Yeah. So now the maybe six, Civic seven. SL is not really that much quicker than that. No, and you had to just drive. You had to just drive the wheels off of these things. Uh, that was the joy of it. Yeah, yeah, you really, you really did, and, and uh, yeah. So it is. Um, it is also my favorite. And what's that going for? Uh, well, this one bid to like ten grand in in, in twenty eighteen. Um, you can't. This one, the one that's actually for sale. Uh, is like they want 25 grand for it but it's but all modified kind of modifications so. it's oh, right. it's yeah they did they did things to it they did unspeakable things to it <laughs> that's the that's the additional shrapnel package yeah it's like that's a hamster tube yeah <laughs> it's really dumb it's, got it's habit trail, trail. habit trail <laughs> oh my god I mean, yeah i have never seen i have never seen the uh clear, the clear like that maybe nice. that's so you can see the oil blow by <laughs> well, what is the what is the valve cover supposed to look like? Is that is that uh, it looks like a kitchen marble. countertop? Right. It's I like can't. Marble. I can't see. That's, I mean, oh, oh. I guess I can see that. That's camouflage. Oh, do you think it was? <laughs> I just thought it was. I couldn't see anything for a second. I just, I just, I just respect the tuner. Any tuner that misspells two words in its name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two wrongs good. make a right, Pearly. We got two yeah. votes. We got two votes for that generation. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway, I but I, yeah, I figured I figured I would I would not I would not drag that out anymore. All right, Jonathan, what are, what have you brought? Uh, well, Pearly actually described everything I have. Yeah, I was trying to set up a nice segue into your car. Uh, that was a perfect segue. <laughs> I was just going to show pictures while Pearly talked because I have chosen the fourth generation Beautiful. SI hatchback. Um, this was uh, I was tempted between the the original, the first Civic, the CVCC, and the CRX, but this one spoke to me just a bit more. Um, this one was actually uh, kind of like cases was, was on sale on BAT uh, a few years ago, uh, but it was the best example because they're so hard to find, unmolested. And good, good call going to the forums. That's where all the good cars are. Oh, okay. Um, Honda Tech, I, I was looking at that too. Talk about uh, driving a slow car fast, 106 horsepower, or like 108 horsepower, 106 pound feet of torque. Hey, wait a second, Jonathan, $6,000 off a of GMC Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I'll send you the link afterward when, when we're done. Really really distracted. <laughs> um, and uh, I mean, this guy took, like Pearlie was saying, this guy had this car, I think for 20 years, something like that. Um, Honda had the earlier, the first Civic SI in like the early 80s, 81 or 82 it was, but this was the one I felt that really uh, around the world made a name. And yeah. it's even got the, oh, let's see if I can get a picture. You can, you, the factory equalizer. Pretty cool. Mm. That's, the, that. that's the Jonathan fetish. <laughs> well, I mean, how can you get good sound without an equalizer? <laughs> I mean, we're, not, we're not savages. Mm -hmm. And this, this stereo was called the Honda 1000, which was uh, pretty intense. The yeah, these had 108 horsepower pre VTEC. Yeah, well, remember the the first Honda Civic wasn't an SI; it was an S. They had a carbureted version of the third, uh, the second right. generation car. Or um, right, because didn't SI originally stand for in, you know, like, injection? Yeah, yeah. Injected, yeah. yeah. Well, and they had a else. they had a, a base version of this of this model, um, which had it didn't have the tachometer, it didn't have the uh, the passenger side mirror. Um, it had it had a seventy horsepower engine in it, the one point five I think instead of one point six. That's my cue. <laughs> Wait, so how much did this sell for on Bring a Trailer? Um, I don't. Oh no, but Bring a Trailer. This was an older post, right? Yeah, this is from 2016. It, it didn't sell on Bring a Trailer. He's selling it on the forums. Oh, it said he was asking 79. I, I bet it. I bet it's worth more now. 
Like, if you see any on Bring a Trailer. Yeah, I would think so. They've only gotten rare, Joey. Oh, yeah. Turned off my phone. 900. Yeah. Finally. Why didn't you um, turn it off before? Because like, I'm here discourteous. Was, here is the a, a sort of bog standard SI. Um, this guy, it's on sale now for four grand, but it's got the vinyl interior. Um, you can make your own SI out of it very easily. <laughs> yeah. It looks yeah. super clean. I don't see it. Wow, yeah, that's yeah. pretty based. Oh, look at that shifter. There's not even a console. The good, the good part about the upholstery is it is, in fact, the same color as duct tape. <laughs> so, yeah, this is my favorite uh, Civic Generation and Civic specifically. Have you owned a Civic, Jonathan? The first one, my mother owned the, uh, the CVCC. I was a... Uh, I was a child, it was silver, I just knew. And it had, all I remember of it really is that it had the roundest ass I'd ever seen on a car uh, <laughs> in America. I mean, there were no sharp edges from, from, the, from the B pillar back. <laughs> I was like, this car is so round. Um, but yeah, my those mother- got away with the, the, the CVCCs didn't have to have uh, catalytic converters after catalytic converters came into use. Yeah, wildly advanced for an economy yeah. car. Honda figured it out. Honda figured out for, emissions for, without a cat. For a carbureted economy car. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Those were the days. All right, KC. Are you KC already went? Uh, Joey, you're up next. What, yeah, what I went. You brought. Um, I went kind of weird and picked a Civic Wago van. <laughs> Those are awesome. So this is a third generation Civic and it was in Japan, it's called the Civic Shuttle, um, which is like, you know, more space, bigger back seat, more cargo space. Did and they this, offer that with four wheel drive? Yeah, so this is, drive. The, this is the RT four wheel drive, real time four wheel drive oh, nice. version. Um, I'll actually, this seller provided a, a club on Flickr. So, <laughs> This is in LA. It's got the badge RT four wheel drive. And what's really cool is that it has like a creeper gear. So it's not a six speed exactly, but it kind of is. It's like a Porsche 959. Yeah. <laughs> and it's got like the 1987 one. Just like a 959. Real time four wheel drive system, which was like, you know, like most all wheel drive systems now, it shifts power automatically and those those sticks that hold up the trunk were an option <laughs> so, so i think those uh that uh if it's the same as what is in like their like k cars and 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 pickups and stuff uh when you select that low gear it automatically engages the rear axle oh cool oh so yeah, yeah. You're and, right. and it's locked so it's it's like it's like don't use it on pavement kind of thing yeah i, I always um, thought it would have been an interesting alternate universe where they never built the CRV and they just kept updating this. Yeah, that was awesome. And there was one more generation of this after that was a little more rounded, yeah. but it stopped after that. Yeah, um, I, think it's, shame. I think it's particularly interesting because there's a rumor that the new 11th gen car might have all wheel drive. So, oh, I thought you were going to say it might have a Wago van. <laughs> I yeah. doubt they'll bring back the Wago van. But... I would think that all wheel drive is an inevitability in that car. And yeah, also regarding the club, don't you kind of have to have the club with this in LA? Because aren't old Civics and Accords notoriously easy to steal? Oh yeah, I mean, I no, the only the only question is how many times has this one been stolen? <laughs> but, but I mean, right? Aren't they? Aren't they? Like they are. It's one. It's one of the easier easier um, ignitions to override. I think those and in, uh, Acura Integras too. Integra Integra is oh, always at the top of the most stolen list. No matter how old the car gets, they keep they keep coming at the top of the most stolen list. Why are the clocks and the radio out? Why are the clocks outside the car? I think they were just showing that they have like, different time the zones. Original well, radio. <laughs> in, in, in my nine in my ninety Civic, we had pull out radios when we used to have pull out radios. So pull out radios, yeah, that part I get. But the clocks don't pull out, weird. and they've got two of them. <laughs> well. Actually, you know, but they have, for- they, they bother to have two clocks, but they don't have working struts for the rear hatch. Yeah. <laughs> and who priorities? Has beads, who has beads on a seat in yeah. 2020 that isn't a New York taxi driver? They have fan. also seat covers. There's beads, seat covers. Yeah, yeah. Two layers. You know, it's, it's a, a lifestyle it's a New York choice. City taxi driver's summer car. He, he winters in LA, or I guess it's a winter car. He winters in LA. <laughs> 
Oh. Yeah, this one has 287,000 miles, and they're asking 3,700. Was there another one of those for sale in the United States right now? I looked. There's definitely some non-four-wheel drive ones, but the RT four-wheel drive ones seem like they're in high demand. Nice. And actually, this one, this one photos dated from September, so it might have already sold by now. I, I, this website I used, I've never used it before, so I don't know if the postings go away after they've sold. Mm. It's cool. It's a cool car, 287,000 miles, maybe a little at the end of its life. Is just, the just, Honda like, ever the rear window, window dips down, I think it's so cool. It goes into the roof like a Bronco 2. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, just like a Bronco 2. Just like a like, Bronco 2. Yeah. <laughs> got 959 elements, Bronco 2 <laughs> elements. <laughs> Somebody should lift it. I love it. Oh, the wheels don't match. I think that's intentional. No. Seems like that. <laughs> I, I read a thing. I read a thing about how the the wagon, the four wheel drive wagons had a, had the gray center caps on the steel wheels. No, it's a and different. The steel wheel wheels is, is different. Yeah, right, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. And there's no. Those, those, those are what? Fourteens? Those are fourteens. There might be 13s, Jonathan. There might be 13s. Hmm. That might be a 175, 70, 13. It looks like they're the same on the other side, though. No, no, no. Look at the the front to back on the left side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying it's the same disparity on this side. No, I don't think they did that. I, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love Caparella's fighting for this, fighting for his mismatched wheels. Mismatch steel wheels, but with the same center cap. I don't know. Okay. No, no, that, that one in the front is what was on the left rear. Yeah, OK. So this one is mismatched. Excuse me, the right rear. Yeah, I think the left rear is is probably no, is no, it, I just, maybe that's I just the spare tire. You're right, Casey, you're right. Yeah, look at that one. It's like the front one. I just felt a couple of, D of our uh, viewers dying. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, they <laughs> well, this is just us talking this now. exactly why it's they just us. in. <laughs> As we as we CSI the uh, the steel <laughs> engine, <laughs> that a, is. is that a blood stain? <laughs> really looking I'm unsure before we spot anything else. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my favorite Civic. I have a soft spot for the '92 to '95 Civic. Can you guys see that? Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Now I don't love this '90s color. I mean, some people might love this '90s color, but my buddy Chris. I was kind of a VW guy. I had a GTI at the time and my buddy Chris bought one of these and I drove it and I was like, wow, this is so much more refined. This engine is so much sweeter and better revving than the, uh, than the GTI 16 valve. And it's sort of like, I was like, wow, this is, and the shifter was really nice. And I'd never driven a Honda before and I was just got kind of blown away by it. And I sort of got the whole Honda thing after that. And this is the car that taught me that. And I love the way they looked. Looks like an old an old sneaker that's been sitting out and gotten a little moldy. Yeah, I this like the that. I like this is the uh, car. Z4 M. I mean, I like Z3 M, M coupes, so this will work. <laughs> this is the car that made me hate um, both uh, the Bare Naked Ladies and Billy Joel, uh, <laughs> because uh, I had a, I had a friend in high school um, who I was I was I think it was probably fourteen at the time maybe, but he had a, a green coupe of this generation. And only had I think only had two cassettes in the car because that was all that was ever played. And now we're talking. We're talking. We say bare naked ladies. We're talking about the group, not about bare naked ladies. Correct. Correct. Okay. And uh, and and yes. And uh, but and he would sing along to all to all every song, no matter what. And it just made me it made me nuts. But why did you have to drive with him? Uh, I, I mean, I was. I think it was probably. I think it was probably fourteen. Probably didn't. Have oh, you were you were of age. Yeah, I probably didn't have a ton of friends that had uh, had licenses at the time. So you had to suffer. Did, did, did Caparella? Oh, I think you see, give me you give me a race to hockey too. So did Caparella ever pass you in the back of his Jaguar? <laughs> <laughs> Singing his school songs. All back reference to last week. I was thinking about that, Joey. It's like your story. Like I walked uphill both ways to school. <laughs> it's the opposite. <laughs> I didn't have a heated seat. My ass wasn't heated. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the interior design. This is before the Civic got really crazy, like um, like Pearly's generation. You know, just really clear gauges. The cowl was still low. 
uh, no, like the floating dashboard, like a Ferrari. Well, in ni- in ninety six when they came out, they changed the front suspension to uh, McPherson struts. Right, and they couldn't they had, lower the cowl anymore. They had to get, got rid of the lower cowl. I, I I loved them both. I don't think the car works that much worse with McPherson struts. And this one had the performance VTEC, which bumped mm-hmm. power from one hundred eight to one twenty five. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they also had the fuel economy VTEC in the was it the VX or HX. Maybe they changed. I think no, that, I think that VX was the was the VTEC E, the fuel economy VTEC. Okay. Yeah, and then the HX was a CVT, right? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, that was the generation after Joy. That was the '96 Gen. But I love the floating headrests. Like I, I, I don't know. I just thought this thing was so cool back then, and it wasn't a ton of money. I mean, it was like 13 grand for the SI, seven and a half seconds to 60, almost as quick as Pearlie's. Yeah. And, and why did ten? Why weren't these Civics ten best cars? Pearlies? I don't remember. They might have. I think they were. A lot of Civics were ten best cars. Yeah, I think they were. Can, really? Can, did you we have got to, this generation? I had a, no. I had the '96. I had the I had the generation. That's even more evidence that this is the best one. This is the one you skipped. Thank you very much. <laughs> Can we vote? Because I got to get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's vote, Pearly. Okay. Unlike unlike last week, where I voted down on everything. Oh, you I vote yes. Everything? I vote up on everything. These are some of my favorite cars in the world. All right. I mean, well, uh, what was your? I, I'm giving you a thumbs up. I love that generation. Yeah, I, I think you know. I, any Civic. We might I'm, well. I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for Jonathan's uh, EF. I just think that's uh, you know that's my second favorite car, and uh, you know these are all. I can make it. Wait, wait. What's your first favorite car? The the eighth generation car would have been your yes. car. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Thank you. Being yeah. a bigger man and not picking his own car like he usually does. Well, fortunately, there were two eighth generation cars, so I could pick yeah. the other eighth generation. Oh, that's car. true. That's, you could have yeah. picked it again. Uh, but you know, this is these. But are, he didn't. He picked mine. I know. So- I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. I can. But see. You know, the thing is, if we're good, if we're going to talk about going to talk about uh, a, a a line of cars that has been consistently excellent for a long time. We're looking at it, yeah. You're looking at it. I this mean, is really the only misstep was the 2012, and then they kind of yeah. the, the 20 the 2012 yeah, right the 2012 I hammered to the New York Times, and then they called me in at Honda, and they had me go through all the specifics of all the things, and I and I asked them all the questions, and I swear to God, in 2013 they changed everything. <laughs> yeah, they did. They did an early mid-cycle revision. Yeah, yeah, they did. And, they had to. And uh, you, uh, you weren't the only one to say those things, John. No, I know, but they called me in because I was in the New York Times. I don't know; it's a major newspaper. You may have heard of it. <laughs> um, and uh, I don't. Know, car, car and driver was was uh, was was still a thing then, John. So. It was yes, but uh, but they called in the New York Times, and uh, and uh, it, it was a, they they listened to us, and they I mean whoever it is, it was generally known that the 2012 was a disappointment. Yeah, and they fixed it quickly to their. And they fixed it quickly, and uh, and what you, you know, what you really meant was they listened to you. Is that, uh, that's what I'm hearing. Oh, we care. Yeah, it's a pearly centric universe. Don't you know that? <laughs> yeah, so this pearly's got to go to his doctor's appointment. So, love all you guys. You got See two you, more minutes. No, I got it's 105. Casey. He's got to go. All right. Okay. See you, pearly. All right. All right. See, you, see you guys. Have a great day, man. Yeah. You're wonderful human beings. Okay. <laughs> Mugen. Thumbs up. Uh, oh, not yeah. the not the modified one, but the oh idea. no 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 the, yeah the, the yeah other. not the modified no <laughs> the modified ones are thumbs down. No. <laughs> what was your favorite, Casey? Um, I mean, I, I uh, yours that yeah that that SI the, 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 those yeah I mean it, despite um what it did to uh, bare naked ladies and Billy Joel's I've since come over I've, I've since overcome the Billy Joel version. That's not the car's fault. No, it's not. It's not. But I mean, it's, it's, I mean, I associate, I mean, I associate the two. Um, oh, man, if I ever buy one, that's the first thing I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm off. I'll, I'll buy cassettes for you. And I'll buy to, to compliment your Chris Christopherson cassette. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, he had one. I think I had multiple. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> All right, who you went? The Star Wars Born soundtrack? Jonathan, you went. I thumbs up wholeheartedly. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I love that. I mean, you just can't go wrong with any Civic. Low, yeah. Super low cowl that generation, too. One of the lowest. And, and I forgot, I did my, I dated a girl who had, a, in Australia, who had that model. And she was a stewardess, so she was always gone. And I had the car to myself, and it was phenomenal um, <laughs> learning how to drive on the wrong side of the road in a very fun car. What's a perfect car for it? Because you got good visibility and easy shape.
And it's small. Yeah. Not fast enough to really exactly. hurt yourself unless you're being stupid. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, my favorite is the the four wheel drive RTW. Uh, yeah, whatever that thing was. With, but it's got to come with the club and the beaded seat and the covers <laughs> and, and the mismatch. You want the you want the you want the experience. I want the whole thing. That's right. I want to be that guy. I'm gonna hold out for an example that has three clocks. <laughs> exactly and i want the spare clocks and the two radios <laughs> and the wooden prop <laughs> my staff uh joey thumbs up actually i'd give you sideways but i i'm charmed by your by your choice That's i'm so giving you sideways based on condition but the the i love that thing and the four-wheel drive is probably impossible to find in good condition right. all those i mean the one thing that i'm realizing too is that the civic's been really good for a really long time and uh as joey was presenting that his um you know wagonoid thing i was like oh yeah and then there was the the civic that bruce willis drove in uh um yeah that he hits marcel fiction yeah he hits he hits marcellus Wallace with and i was like that was even a great looking one but I don't know if it was great looking. But. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it was. Wasn't that the, wasn't that the CVCC? Wasn't that the early uh, late 70s? I don't know if it was the CVCC equipped one, but it was, yeah, but it was that early, oh, early yeah. 80s. That's yeah. like what you grew up with? That yeah. one, that, yeah, yeah. Those, yeah. those are cool. They're what happened cool. to my Honda? <laughs> <Yeah>. Chopper. <laughs> Got a chopper, baby. <laughs> uh, I think what's your, all these lines right now. <laughs> I think my favorite is probably Pearly's SI, just because it's modern enough to be like a real car you could use every day, but I think it still has the spirit of the old Honda. I was thinking, Joey, that you were going to pick the Type R. I really thought you I thought Joey was going to pick a, 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 a sport hatch, oh, the 1.5. One. I mean, huh? those are good, but I, like, I, I wanted something weird. Yeah, you went weird this week, but I, I love that. I love the current Type R. I love it. And that. I'm surprised that nobody did pick a Type R. Yeah. Because it is a great car. All right. Yeah. And then my teal SI with bare naked ladies and Billy Joel playing. Definitely thumbs up. And my so. favorite, I think, is, um, is Jonathan's. I win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's two votes. Oh no, I'm tied with Pearly. That's two votes for Pearly. But he's gone, so you win. Okay. <laughs> Just don't tell him. Don't tell him. Well, I'll tell him. I'll text him right now. He, he, he can find out on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call him just after airtime. <laughs> well, that brings us to the end of this episode. Uh, if you enjoyed it, uh, let us know which, uh, which Civic is your favorite in the comments and uh, hit like and subscribe. And we'll see you next week. Hopefully Pearly will stick around the whole time. Ha, 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 ha.